It took six months to write the book of the story of film, and it took six years to make the film of the story of film. Writing a book is relatively simple. You sit in your room and you do, 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 do. But to make the film, we had to travel around the world and stay in many countries and carry equipment, cameras like this, etc. In some ways, this is the first full history of the movies, you could say. Nobody has really tried to travel the world entirely and look at the whole global story. Um, second, it looks at innovation, not showbiz, not box office, not red carpet, not paparazzi. You know, it's about the, this wonderful, flickering, luminous language of cinema. And the third thing, and this was an important one for me, I think a lot of film histories underestimate women directors. So I look at the great Russian and Iranian and African women filmmakers too. We started filming in Egypt. We went to uh, probably 25, 30 countries. I knew I got a big map of the world out and knew I had to go to Kolkata, knew I had to go to Paris, Moscow. Hong Kong, Beijing, uh, Ouagadougou in West Africa, Los Angeles of course, New York, London, etc. I wanted to look at the diversity of voices in cinema, not just those wonderful John Ford, Howard Hawks, Alfred Hitchcock, all those white Anglo men, you know, I had to look at the great women filmmakers, I had to look at the gay filmmakers, I had to look at the African filmmakers, particularly Africa. I think its cinema is so great and less well known than other parts of the world. So it tried to be a proper global perspective. I knew that it had to have a thousand films in it. I didn't have to watch too many more films because for years and years I'd been programming festivals, writing books about cinema. So it's like I had a head full of movies. So I didn't have to do too much more research. I studied mathematics and so I'm good at grids and you know, I'm good at sort of grids and diagrams and all like that. And this was such a big thing and we didn't edit it in sequence. And so we needed some kind of master grid and this very tatty piece of paper is the master grid. So we had this in our edit and we would go and so anytime we would know exactly where we were editing and we'd have bits of paper like this all around the edit suite and that's how we, I kept it clear in my head where we were going. <laughs> if you love movies, if you love stories, if you love passion, catch the story of film on Movie Movie.